Welcome to an update on GTGDS3, and what I want to show you here is what the next chapter, which is chapter 9, will be about. And it's going to be about an improved AI system, which allows you to have enemies and friendlies, and they're a bit smarter, and uh, the ranged enemies that you have can use the same weapons as you. Now what you see here is a shootout uh, between some AIs that were configured as enemies and friendlies. These two here are friendlies and I've just set them to follow the player. Now they use the same weapon as you and they can. I've done quite a few modifications to the scripts and I'll of course show you how to do all of that. So here's the very gun that one of the enemies was using. Right, now let's go and take out some golems. So these two characters, uh, the model name is uh, Max, I think Max Adventure model I'm using there. Uh, and uh, yeah, they're not exactly in winter gear, but who cares, they've got a big gun. Right, so now you can see that the, the two AIs, they will detect the enemies. Uh, if the enemies, the enemies are a bit smarter, so if they see you and there's anyone of their own nearby, they will inform each other that, hey, there's uh, someone, uh, a target for us to go and pursue and attack. Now, uh, what you see here, the guns dropping, I just decided to uh, just add like items that um, the enemies can drop when they die. So these are actually a part of their game object and it just gets enabled and drops. I can actually pick them up there actual guns I can use. Oops, I ran in front of their fire. They are programmed to um, actually not shoot at you if you walk in front, but I've given them some spread, there's some randomness to their shooting. Uh, so in that case, uh, if you happen to walk in front of a random shot, uh, you will get hit. There's nothing you can do about that. Whoa, that was a lot of bullet spray. And they are pretty good, as you can see. They, they will actually go and start uh, chasing at the enemies if they see another enemy. Uh, they'll hunt them down. You see these two guys, they thought they saw something, and they really did. So they pursued that. And then, then as soon as they're finished, they'll follow you. Right. And um, pretty much, I'm not finished yet, so I still got to add a few more things, like a hurt state. Uh, like at the moment, uh, the AIs, when they get hurt, uh, they don't do anything. They just keep on behaving as they were, like this golem. What he should really do is to kneel, like uh, how I had it uh, in the old AI system. So that's just another state I'm working on. And I'm not sure what those two guys were doing. They uh, How this AI system works is if I give them waypoints, they'll use the waypoints. If I don't give them waypoints, then they'll just randomly wander about. So I guess that's what they're doing right now. And uh, these two guys will always follow you. And that's just how I set it up. Basically, I set their waypoint as the player, so they just keep on following. Okay, well, that is pretty much uh, what Chapter 9 is going to be about. It'll be uh, the biggest chapter so far. It's also the most complex. Uh, that's just how AI is, I guess. Uh, but once you've programmed it, you'll have a pretty powerful system that you, uh, I guess, can continue to improve upon and add more behaviors to. Uh, anyway, so I guess that's it, and uh, I'll let you on your way, and it'll be some time. I'm not sure when I'll have the uh, tutorials out. It's going to take uh, quite a while uh, to program them, I think, uh, well, to record the videos. I haven't actually determined the course content just yet, so I guess in a bit I'll have it all done. All right, anyway, thanks for watching, and when it's done, you'll see it. All right, see ya.